Praise the Lord, everybody. How you all doing? Glory to God, power and glory, media and TV land. We thank and praise God for another golden opportunity in this new year, in this 2021. Glory to God. We're going to be teaching again tonight on um, about giving and amen. We're going to be on this for a little while because I want to get some some great information out to you and um, open up some understanding, some clarity on some stuff. We're going to have some fun with it on the beginning of this year. But praise God. As I started out last week with you all, so I want to start out again this week. Praise God. Let's pray together for our nation. Amen. Let's pray for the nation. Glory to God and what is taking place in our nation. Amen. And um, how things are happening. The changing of the guards, which lets us know that some things about the change in the spirit realm, not only in America, but in the church world as well. Um, some things that God is about to do every time. Um, another authorities in position, then things shift for us. And I believe that's going to be a great increase and a great blessing for the people of God. So I just really need you all to be encouraged with that in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Yes. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray God by your spirit that you will bless our nation, Lord. You bless the, uh, the present set, um, uh, president and the one that's taking office within the next seven days. God bless every authority God has set over, every governor, every mayor, every chief of police. Lord God, we just give you praise right now. God, most of all, bless the word today as we get into it. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise God to everyone that's here. Amen. Tonight, we also we have Pastor Sherry. You don't see her on the camera. Amen. But she's sitting to my right over here. Yeah. She's right here with us today. In the name of the Lord, we just thank God for her. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, I want to talk to you about the subject of what is wealth? <clears throat> what is wealth? I want to talk to you on the subject of what is wealth. And touch on a few things that I touched on last week as well. Amen. But um, I'm just building slowly instead of getting into it real fast. We're going to talk about wealth, prosperity. We're going to talk about um, giving. Amen. Not all of this tonight, but in the weeks to come, we're going to talk about tithing in weeks to come. And why should we tithe? Is it right to tithe? Amen. Now, praise God. What's the difference between Old Testament and New Testament? We're going to talk about all those type of things, praise God, you know, just to clear up some things in the minds and the hearts of the people. And I believe that once we come to an understanding what God really intended for us as his people, that we're going to do better and doing better, it will open up the floodgates of heaven for great wealth and prosperity and sustaining blessings to come into our lives. Yeah. So let's get right into it tonight. I ain't going to hold with you for long tonight. Praise God. I need you to share, share, share tonight. And don't forget, we are on YouTube now. Power and glory. The and sign instead of the, the word and. Power and sign and glory. So share tonight. Praise God in Jesus' name. When you go to YouTube, subscribe, PG. Praise God. Amen. To, amen to our page. Amen. And let God be glorified in your lives. And let's push it and let's get on out where we're supposed to be. Amen in Jesus' name. Well, let's get started. Amen for our brief teaching today. Amen. But let me encourage you now. And weeks to come, we're going to be using up more time. Praise God to get because we want to get more information into your hand, more things to encourage you, more things to get you excited, more things going to uh, trigger you to study, to show yourself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. We're going to get into the word because one thing I'm going to tell you something about the devil. You can preach error. You can teach error. You can quote it and you can prophesy. lie. But one thing you're not going to do, you cannot quote it to the devil. Right. Glory to God. Right. So my thing is this. 
You must talk about truth. You should know truth. Truth should make you free. So my aim is to teach you truth, truth so that you can stand up on it, truth that will make God respond, and truth will, will cause the enemy to flee from you. Amen? Amen? In Jesus' name, God bless you. Okay, praise God. What is wealth? To understand um, the biblical view of wealth, one must understand the biblical account of creation. This is very important. Praise God. On the one account, God created the universe and everything therein without nothing. God created everything in the earth without nothing. He didn't use no, nothing pre-existing to make anything of any great value in the earth. He spoke it into the earth. Yes. God spoke it and it was so. Glory to God. And let me tell you something. Diamonds in the earth is no accident. Gold, silver, and any other uh, precious stone that you consider of any great value, they're no accident. God put that in the earth for a purpose. you got to remember, now we're dealing with a God of omniscience, a God that knows everything. And he saw this day before he even created us. Glory to God. And he knew this was going to be so. God put these things in the earth for man to find, to dig. And that's where value come in at. Man, man, how hard it is to get to a diamond. And how hard it is to get to a ruby. And how hard to get this and that and that. That's where wealth come in. Wealth comes with a little struggle. People don't understand it. Uh -huh. Except if you were born into generational wealth. But even if you were born into generational wealth, the beginning of that, there was a struggle for if that great, 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 great grandfather or grandmother, who it is that left you the wealth. It was a struggle for them, even though it might be easy for you. Uh -huh. So wealth don't ever come just easy. It always come with a small fight with it because the enemy don't want you to ever amen, understand the importance of it. Glory to God. But once you understand the value and the importance of wealth and what is it in the earth for? Glory to God. It will change a lot of mentality. Glory to God. It changed a lot of things. Okay. There was nothing that put in the earth that was made with pre-existing stuff. So like last week I said, so unlike a painter who used things that are already existing, uh -huh. brushes, canvas, and paint. Okay. They are already in the earth. Amen. God uses no pre-existing material. Glory to God to do anything. Uh -huh. Glory to God. God created the universe. Uh, amen. Without using anything which already exists. Wealth is created without of nothing. Meaning God, watch this, use nothing pre-existing to determine wealth. So whatever you saying is value and how you determine it, God did not use nothing already pre-existing to determine wealth. That's why when you are in flowing in true wealth, that's why, watch it, fire can't destroy it, disease can't destroy it, uh -huh. pestilence can't destroy it, poverty or death cannot destroy true wealth. Let's go into an interesting scripture. Praise God. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. It said, but thou shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power uh -huh. to get wealth, right. that he may establish his covenant, which he sware unto thy fathers as, watch this, as it is this day. Uh -huh. Now, I know what the Bible said that he give you power to get wealth. Right. My, God. My God, he gives you power. And this word power, I'm just going to go make it real small for you. This word power here, it just simply is saying the power of the dragon. Glory to God, the strength 
of a dragon, glory to God, or a large lizard. They will call it a dragon, uh -huh. glory to God. But notice I'm going to give you that power <clears throat> to get wealth. Now, the word wealth here from the Hebrew, what was it, Pastor? How you pronounce that word wealth? Uh, glory to God. Yeah. Kyle. <laughs> the word wealth here from the Hebrew means Kyle. Now watch this. Now what it means. The word wealth means a force. It means a force, whether of men. Watch this. An army. Vigor. Strength. Uh -huh. Able. Yeah. Capable. A band of men, soldier company of great force. Wow. This word wealth, ain't that interesting? Yeah. It means also goods, a host, might, power, riches of strength, strong substance. Ain't that, ain't that amazing? Yes, it is. Glory to God. Simply said, the word wealth is a militant term. Now, what is wealth? Wealth is simply said, it is a militant term, meaning an army, strength, power, spoils of war, or fruits of warfare. Yes. This is wealth. If you notice something, that every time a king went in and conquered another king, what did the Bible say? They went and went and got the spoils. The more that a king had determined his prosperity or the power or his influence that he had in the earth. So when you conquer a king, you go get his spoils. When you get those spoils, it increases your influence. It increases your power. It increases your ability to have influence in the earth. Now, now let's go with to the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. The book of Proverbs, um, um, chapter 13. Now I'm almost done. I just want to encourage you. Proverbs 13 and verse 22. Glory to God. 1322 of Proverbs. It says, A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children, children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. This is important. We like the back end of it, but how many is willing to do the front part of it? Everybody like the fact that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. That's a famous quote. But how many can quote the first part? The first part said, a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children, children. Other words, he leaves to his children, and then he makes sure his grandchildren and the grand and the great grandchildren has some of his wealth. Glory to God. But the but watch this. But the uh, uh the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. What is wealth? Glory to God. It's so important that we understand wealth. But notice the word power keep coming up. That God said, I'm going to give you capable means. Uh -huh. This word power from the Hebrew, capable means. He said, I'm going to give you hardness and ability. Glory to God to get this wealth. God said, I'm going to give you power to get it. I'm going to give you capable means. I'm going to give you hardness. I'm going to give you an explosive power, which is the ability to get this wealth. Yeah. Now, what is that dragon that, that, that takes on the form of whatever is around? A chameleon? A chameleon? Glory to God. Believe it or not, this word uh, here uh, in Hebrews, uh, I mean, Deuteronomy 8 and 18, that word power there also have the word of uh, what it's called? A chameleon. Glory to God. It has the word of a chameleon. God said, I'm going to allow you to take on 
whatever you need to take on. I'm going to allow you to look like what environment you need to look like to get this prosperity. I'm going to let you look like glory to God what you to so you can get it. If you need to look like them to get it, God, so I'm going to let you look like them to get it. I'm going to let you take on different forms so you can get this wealth. Glory to God. Say, oh, glory to God. You hear that? Say, well, give me Bible. Well, Luke, the 16th chapter. Watch this now. Glory to God. Let's go to Luke, the 16th chapter. Glory to God. We're not going to go in here. Um, I got to find the verse here. Let me, let me go in here. Luke 16. Glory to God. Let me find it for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Luke 16. And uh, oh, let me see here. Glory to God. You're, y'all learning something tonight? Yes, we are. Glory to God. Um, verse 8. Um, okay. No, let's go. With, let's start with verse 9. Luke 16 and 9. Watch this. And I say unto you, make to yourself friends of the mamma of the unrighteous that when ye fail that okay when ye fail they may receive you into everlasting uh, habitation glory to god now go down to verse um 11 if therefore you have not been faithful and unrighteous mamma who will commit to you the true the, uh, uh, to your trust, the true riches. So it's important that you understand that if you have not been faithful over what God has given you, then how can God commit to you true riches? You know what true riches is? The souls of men. True riches is the souls of men. That's that's God's determination of wealth and prosperity is the souls of men. God said, I'll give you wealth in the earth. I'll give you a plane. I'll give you nice stuff. I'll put you in the best of anything. But in me doing that in return, I need you to use all of these things to bring to me the true wealth, the true riches of men. Uh-huh. And that's their soul. God said, if I give you a Bentley, then bring me souls. I give you a plane, then bring me souls. I give you tailor-made suits and bring me souls. I give you a new brand new church built from the ground. Bring me souls. I give you a house that you have never built. Bring me souls. I give you a bank account that you want fat. Bring me souls. I don't have no problem giving you to you things in in the earth, but I do need you to focus on bringing me, your Lord and Savior, the true riches of men, and that is the souls of men. He wants their souls. Yes, Glory, to yes, Glory to God. Glory to God. So moving right along. Glory to God when it comes to uh, what is wealth. Uh, there will be a transference of wealth from the tight grip of the world's economy into the hands of God's kingdom army. There is coming a transference. Yes. Glory to God. Now let me help you. This is why God don't want us to get so locked into it until we lose our focus on salvation. Uh-huh. Because the first thing to do, the Antichrist is going to come and do, he's going to take away the money system. Uh-huh. Glory to God. Oh my God. And if you caught into the money system and not in focus on the true riches of men or bringing in the souls of the kingdom or realizing God is your true driver, the Antichrist is going to easily slip in and cause many people to lose their souls. That's why the Bible said, for the love of it is the root of evil. Not having a lot of it. Not being a billionaire. That's well, nothing evil about being a billionaire. There's nothing evil about having 100, 200, 300 billion dollars. Nothing evil about that. But for the love of it yes. is the root of all evil. Because what people don't want to focus with, Paul said, after which while some error from the faith, piercing themselves through with many sorrows. So yeah. don't just focus on the thing that make people get mad. You know, uh, for the love of money is root of all evil, but you don't quote no more. Quote why the Bible said the love of it is the root of evil. The Bible said if you love it, it's going to pierce your soul. Glory going to bring great sorrow. Mm. After which while some error from the faith. Yeah. 
Yes. Glory to God. Because you can't take true riches. Oh, you can take true riches to heaven, the souls of men, but you can't take the wealth in the earth to heaven. Amen. Glory to God. I don't got nobody want to have judgment yes. me tonight. I don't, where are you at? Where are you at tonight? I'm almost done. Glory to God. And as we talked last week, and I'm on my I'm on my stretch the next five, six minutes, and be out your hair. Last week we talked about Cyrus in Isaiah 45, verses 1, um, 2, and 3. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, who he has what? A uh, holding with his right hand. Yeah. Thou shalt do. Now look at this now. Pay attention to this now. Go back to Deuteronomy 8 and 18. Uh -huh. The word wealth is a militant word. Okay? okay? Then Isaiah 45, 1, 2, and 3, listen to the military terms of how he going to get this wealth. It's a connect. The Bible don't contradict itself. Nope. The Bible says a man within itself. Yes, it does. You just got to spend time with meditation and prayer and fasting to see the Bible for its true value. Yeah. Glory to God. So Deuteronomy 8 and 18, the word wealth there and the word power there, watch Isaiah 45 and verse 1. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, who, watch it, who right hand uh, I have holden to subdue, watch this, to subdue nations before him. Watch this. To subdue, what did the word power mean? Capable means. Mm -hmm. That's what subduing is. I'm going to give you capable means yes. to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings. What did I say? The more you conquer kings, you get their spoil, the greater your influence is in the earth. Yes. Are you listening? To open up the two leave doors. <laughs> yeah. And the gates shall not be shut. Glory to God. Look at verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass uh -huh. and cut asunder the bars of iron. God said what in the book over here in Deuteronomy? God said, I'm going to make you like an army. I'm not going to let nothing stop you from having the spoils of war. Glory to God. And look at here. Verse 13. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches. What did, what did Proverbs say? Glory to God. And the what? The wealth of the, of the sinner is laid up for the righteous. Look right here. Isaiah. 45 and 3, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches and secret places. Thou, watch it, thou mayest know that I, the Lord, was called thee by thy name. I am the God of Israel. Again, Proverbs uh, 13, 22, a good man leaves his children's children. Praise God. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Glory to God. Let's go to um, in my last stretch of scriptures. And am I closing? Glory to God to keep you on edge and keeping you wants to study and know God's word. Let's go to um, Matt, not Matthew. Let's go to Mark 10. Watch this. This is good, everybody. If you got your Bible or the silent Bible, and I got that from my own elder, Elder Boozer. I call him the silent Bible carrier. Uh -huh. He always had his Bible on his phone. Praise God. If you're watching, son, I love you. Glory to God. Um, Mark 10, verse 28, glory to God through 30. Okay. Watch this. Watch this in my closing. Watch this. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. 29. And Jesus, now watch this. And Jesus answered. And Jesus answered. Now watch this. 
You're never going to approach Jesus with something that you felt that you done so great. Uh -huh. And you it's almost like, well, I did this. Now, God, you top this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't ever put a challenge to your God because yeah. he will show up. But when he show up, I need to know, can you handle his challenge to you? Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. And Jesus answering said, truly or verily, I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or brethren or sister uh -huh. or father yes. or mother or wife or children or lands my for my sake. And the gospel. Uh -huh. Jesus, what are you going to do for them? Verse 30. If we would just quit half quoting God's Bible and jigging it up for our own personal use, we'll, we'll get a greater understanding. The devil will be rebuked and we'll walk in more power. Uh -huh. Verse 30. Watch what happened. But he shall receive. Watch this. He shall receive. And hundredfold now, when he shall receive now, when you see now, what's the strongest now in the Bible? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. Evidence is something you can touch, feel, and hold on to. Are you listening? But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses. Oh, glory. And brethren and sisters and mothers. Mm. But I don't see fathers there. Uh -huh. Now, the verse up before, he said fathers. The Bible said, Jesus, Paul said, be not many fathers. Jesus said, don't be many fathers. Uh -huh. And the reason why father is not right here at this point is because once you get relationship Glory to God. You'll know that he is the only true father. Oh, glory to God. I, if I was at church, they, they'd be going crazy on that one. And, and mothers and children uh -huh. and lands. Uh-oh. With. He said, now, I'm going to give it to you, but something is coming with it. With persecution. But you don't need to fear persecution. If he's giving you power to get wealth. Yeah. Watch this. Why would you feel persecution. If I given you to be firm. If I given you capable means. Hardness. Ability. And I made you a chameleon. What's that word? Chameleon. A chameleon. I can make you adapt to every circumstance. When it yeah. comes to wealth. That's, that's, that's power. Yeah. Then the word wealth. He said a force. Whether it be a man of an army, he's in the army, a band of soldiers, a great force. So he said, don't worry about the persecution. You're going to be able to conquer and walk through there. He said, but it's coming with persecution. Watch this. In this world and to come eternal life. He said, you're going to get it back, but it's coming with a persecution. And persecution don't mean that you're going to have trials and tribulations and you're going to be burdened and you're going to start praying and wishing I never had money. No, that don't mean that right there. But it's just going to simply come with persecution mm -hmm. because you're going to know now it came from your father. This thing came from the father. Are you listening? Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It means it came from the father. Glory to God. It might make you want to run away sometimes. Mm -hmm. It might make you want to quit sometimes. But if you hang on in there, it's coming. So you need to know now that your wealth is coming, that you know that God has set the stage for your wealth. So what is wealth? Wealth is that what you ask God for and God begin to move in ways that you have never thought. Things that with the ideals in you, glory to God, them ideals in you is wealthy. Glory to God. That entrepreneur, wealthy. Yeah. That that campus in you, wealthy. That artist in you, 
that makeup artist, that person that's down in you, wealthy. Glory to God. I need you to be encouraged tonight. I need you to tune in for Sunday because there's coming a great, inspiring word. Glory to God from the Lord. I need you to tune in every Wednesday because glory to God. Next week, you won't hear this lesson. You're going, it's going to get higher and higher and higher. Come ready next week, next Wednesday. There's coming another good word to you. Glory to God. It's going to bring some greater clarity and understanding something. Power and glory, I love you. Yeah. TV, land, and media, I love you. Glory to God. And I need you to be encouraged in Jesus' name. At this time, I'm going to encourage you to give and to sow. Glory to God, as we always do at the end of every broadcast. So for you that are watching me the first time, this is not a method to me to get your money. So if you're watching us for the first time, go back five, go back 50 uh, videos. You'll see at the end of every video, I ask you to give. So praise God. If you want to sow a seed to, the, to our ministry, you can do it by cash at dollar sign PGM 93. If you want to bless uh, Pastor Sherry, dollar sign Sherry Broomfield. If you want to bless Apostle Broomfield, dollar sign Maurice Broomfield. And also you can give online if you want to be more secure, if you feel. If you want like Cash App, then you can sow by PayPal and give online. Or you can simply mail it in to our ministry. But I need you to give. Pay your tithes, power and glory. Pay your tithes. Continue to give. We need you to continue to sow. And be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Yeah. God bless you. I'm asking everyone in my church to sow that $221 before the year is out. Sow that seed, everyone. Yeah. Glory to God. Sow the seed. Don't argue within yourself. Don't, don't. This is, yesterday is gone. Glory to God. Don't argue. Because if you thinking this is the same, it's not. You are in the old. We are in the new. Uh -huh. Some of you are going to miss out because you thinking you know you know me, you know the church. You don't know this new church because God got a thing that's hidden in this new church. I'm trying to tell y'all yeah. there's coming a word from God yes. that's going to blow all of us out the water. And But for us to know him, we're going to greatly rejoice and be extremely happy for what our God yeah. got to say. Be encouraged, be healed, be delivered in Jesus' name, but don't be afraid of the wealth and the prosperity. Let me speak to a few of you that's online tonight. Where are you? I don't see so you popping up. Hey, Amen. Let me call out a few of your names. Glory to God. What's going on here? Hey, Amen. The allows. God bless you, my allows. Glory to God. Jessica, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Debbie, my secretary, God bless you. Alan Ron, my elder. Tamiko, God bless you. Tina, bless you, baby. Amen. Jessica, bless you. Hallelujah. Walt, God bless you, my musician. Nephi, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Corey, <laughs> my trainer. You got to get back on here and train me, man. Glory to God. <laughs> my elder, uh, Rodriguez. Sinetra, my elder, Ella Farb, God bless you. Glory to God. Sister Jamaica, glory to God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Naisha, love you, baby. Bless you. Elder Paul, God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Nicole Davis, bless you. Elder Doug and Becky, love you. Bless you. Sister Jewel, love you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Cherish. Glory to God. Jason, Ella Jason. Glory to God. Ella Cutliff. Yeah. The Cutliff family. God bless you all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ella Lynette Cutliff. Cutliff. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless y'all. Bless you. Bless you. Glory to God. <laughs> Sonia. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Elder Cynthia Robinson, bless you. Elder Scott, bless you. Bless you. Uh Dottie Ingram, God bless you. Uh oh, you're flying. Jay Lowes, Ella Poole, glory to God. 
Jay Harrison. <coughs> Glory to God. Um, Nakisha Moore. Bless you, baby. Hallelujah. Well, I love you all. God bless you. Love you. Can't wait to see y'all on Sunday. Yes. Amen. In the name of the Lord, be encouraged, be strengthened, and may God continue to smile upon you. Father, bless us now. Bless their tithes, bless their offering, and bless their constant support, and they trust and believe in you, God. Yes. Let, the, let the blessing of the Lord that make us rich and no sorrow be upon their life. God, give them rest in their bodies. Let tomorrow be a great day in Jesus' name. Bless them, Lord. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Brittany Waggy, Wag, uh, God bless you. Hallelujah. Michelle. J. Lowes. Glory, Angel. Glory, God bless you. I love y'all. Be encouraged. See ya. See you on Sunday. God bless now. Bye-bye.